FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Thursday, the 9th of March. We're looking at the Dow up 123 at 32,918. Really important couple of days coming up here. And one of the reasons is we've got uh, three things going on, at least so far as I'm concerned, in the Dow chart. You've got the H pattern right here that can become morph and become suspicious since the left side 32,500 hasn't been tested, has been higher than that on the pullback, could turn into a cup formation. That's one. Number two is this little doji candle here. It was a chap wave, a red Roman candle. A close above the hive yesterday will be really important. Going halfway into this wick for 60 minutes or more today, it says, whoa, be careful. You're going down to the bottom of yesterday's candle. And the third thing is, the histogram in the MACD is starting to improve. Not good enough, but it is improving. So we need to see the high so far today is 32,990. It's given it back about 80 points of that. I want to see a close after 130. I want to see a move uh, at least plus 80 or 90 and then going into the close. Looking at the S&P rather than minus 40 or minus 60 after 130. We're looking at the S&P up 18 and 4,010. Actually, it's had a better, uh, in terms of the technicals, the 200 period moving average has been a magnet. So it doesn't pull away from that very far and it comes back to it. Here we are at 4,011, up 19. Good action, but it really needs to get to the 4,000, well, I would say 4,028 level to say it can tackle that inside track repellent zone, the QQQ, uh, also acting quite nicely here up. Uh, 2.66 at 300.46, trying to tackle this resistance level. We're going to be watching it through my show. We'll talk about it a little bit more. Chapman Way falling axe formation. We'll see if it can break into the 303 area in the next day or so. Of course, you've got a lot of information, economic information coming up uh, over the next couple of days, and especially uh, tomorrow and then early next week. We're looking at the uh, IWM down 30 cents at 186. It's been lagging. Let me just quickly get to this. So gold is moving up nice here. I discussed yesterday that we were waiting for that leg D in the in the dollar. And yesterday it closed with a doji candle pulling back. I think this PD says that gold can bounce a little bit as the dollar digests these big gains that it made over the last two days. I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out my opening call daily newsletter. Hope to see you in a few minutes. Can it be exciting?